Once you're happy with your cube, we're going to move on to a four-sided pyramid. So um, you can see my example here. We've got the cube around the outside, and then we've got the pyramid in the inside. And I've gone over um, the pyramids just to make the lines darker, so you can see the difference between what we call the construction lines and the real lines. So I've had loads of cube practice like you, and I've produced um, some cubes on my page to help me map out my pyramid. Now in order first to map out the pyramid we must make the cube see-through. So what we're going to do is we're going to bring a six o'clock line down here. We're going to bring a two o'clock line up here and if you've drawn this really accurately they should actually meet in the middle. Mine's a little bit out but that's okay. And then a ten o'clock line here. And now we actually have a see-through cube. Now before we begin, let's think a little bit about our pyramid. So we know that when we look at the top of the pyramid, all the lines come into the very centre. Now the best way of finding the centre of a square is in fact drawing two straight lines diagonally. And that gives us the centre. So what we're going to do is convert that knowledge onto here. So I'm going to just draw a line from my corner to corner on the top surface and corner to corner again on my top surface the other way and that's the same as this. So what we do now is this here is our centre point for our pyramid. We're going to as carefully as possible draw from that central point to each corner. Now you won't see the one behind but in theory you can you can imagine you're drawing it. So I'm just going to go over here carefully drawing that line. Notice how I don't use my wrist to draw I use my whole arm and that gives you a straighter line. I also turn my page and this helps as well. So I'm left-handed so it's it's easier for me to draw like this. Um, if you're right-handed or you have a different style of drawing then draw what works best for you and then one final line up here and then our other real lines you'll see are obviously the bottom edge of the pyramid so that there is our pyramid